Good morning, friends. Today we'll cover chapter one, which is the big picture. In this chapter, we will just cover the theoretical aspects of Apache Spark and the idea behind it. That what is uh, Apache Spark, big data, local systems, etc. So let's start with the first topic, which is big data. So what is a big data? Big data is a term that describes large, hard to manage volumes of data. Both structured and unstructured. Structured means it's a, in a form of a CSV file or a plain text file with the proper sentences, or it can be a JSON or there are a lot of formats which can be described it as a structured. And unstructured means that it is in various formats. There is no proper syntax uh, or, or not a standard or a uniform syntax or formatting done, and that's why this term is unstructured. So that indicates business on a day-to-day -day basis. I mean, this big data is very important for running the business every day. These data sets are so voluminous that traditional data processing software just can't manage them. But these massive volumes of data can be used to address business problems we would not have been able to tackle before. So let's understand some numbers here. What are the like terms involved in uh, describing that? What is the or quantify the big data? For example, kilobytes. We know that it's one zero two four bytes. One thousand twenty four bytes corresponds to one kilobyte. Similarly, if we keep on adding one thousand to each of this, we will get a new matrix to identify that the data uh, size. One megabyte is one thousand kilobyte. One thousand megabyte is one gigabyte. Similarly, we keep on going. So we go to terabyte. Terabyte is one thousand gigabytes. Again, petabyte, terabyte, exabyte, zettabytes, and we also have got whopping yottabyte, which is ten to the power twenty-four of value. Now, if I talk about the the metrics that we that we have just discussed, that what is the daily use usage in my personal computer? For example, how much gigabyte uh, or terabyte we are using? So let me go to this example. Uh, I have got my machine, and in my machine, the RAM that I'm using is 16 GB. Or in some advanced laptops or machines, you can have 32 GB RAM, 64 GB RAM, or 128 GB RAM. In the production servers, mostly we see that in the on the Linux servers, we have got 128 GB RAMs, and we have got multiple production VMs like that. Similarly, in my uh, machine hard disk, I have got 512 GB gigabytes hard disk. Or sometimes I also attach external hard disk, which can be one terabyte or two terabyte. So maximum I get it's around 2.5 terabytes of hard disk. Or in other words, we I would say that I would say that uh, I'm using the the memory in terms of gigabytes, or sometimes hard disk is also in gigabytes or terabytes. Gigabyte and terabytes is what is the matrix of size of data I'm using in my day-to-day -day, day -day work using my laptop. Now let's look at some interesting statistics. More than one exabytes worth of data are generated each day. One exabytes. Exabyte is 10 to the power 6 of terabytes. Or we can say 10 to the power 9 of gigabytes so this is one exabytes the worth of data are generated each day and there are currently over 64.2 zettabytes of data in the entire digital universe in 2020 and expected to reach 175 zettabytes in 2025 zettabyte is this one 10 to the power 21 so this is a big data the average person generates 1.7 megabytes of data per second and if you look at the population that is using mobile and uh, social media and every day so this is an average taken by some of the uh, by some of the reporting agencies and it's come to be 1.7 mb of data per second and 90 percent of the world's data has been created in the last two years so it's just like an exponential thing that now we have got so much social media so much technology advanced that uh, Every year, every one or two years, it is just expanding at an at an exponential rate. This is the amount of big data that we are using on day to day. Thus, for handling such amount of huge data, which is in zettabytes and exabytes, 
and instead of uh, the I um, mean using on one machine of in, in terms of gigabytes or maximum terabytes, we can see that the traditional software to how to handle this data is not sufficient now. We need to have a, a better tool or a better framework to handle this big data. Now we have some understanding about about that what is the big data and how much uh, the size of big data can be. Now let's have a formal definition of big data. Many sites describe it uh, using the three Vs or five Vs. So here I have created a picture which actually uh, depicts the same thing. That's five Vs of big data. So let's define it. What is uh, the what are these five big five Vs? First, go with the volume. Volume just corresponds to the scale of data. This refers to the sheer volume of data being generated every second. 40 zettabytes of data will be created by 2020 and increase of 300 times from 2005. Most companies in the US have at least 100 terabytes of data stored. 6 billion people have got cell phones. This is just about describing about that how big the volume is every day. Now let's go to the velocity. Velocity is the speed. It denotes analyzing of streaming data denotes the speed at which data is emanating and changes are occurring between the diverse data sets. The New York Stock Exchange captures one terabyte of data information. And if you look uh, at the like streaming thing, in every second, we at least read like four to five ticks of market data. And this is for the whole day, for the whole trading hours. If you have got multiple uh, market data sources, then it would be again corresponding to huge terabytes of data every day every day every trading hour okay so this covers the velocity the speed of the streaming data that we are getting now the third one let's go to variety variety is different forms of data as more and more data is being digitized we can have different forms of data of uh, of, of data right it can be coming in the form of uh say in a digital media or it can be coming in a paper format or it can be coming in an excel or in some other format right so 4 billion plus hours of videos are watched on YouTube each month. 30 billion pieces of content are shared on Facebook every month. So these are different, different type of data that we are talking about. 400 million tweets are sent per day by about 200 million monthly active users. Okay. So this is the, the, the variety of this uh, big V that we discussed. It can be different forms of data. Now the four, uh, fourth one is the value. Value of data. Having access to big data is all well and good, but that's only useful if you can turn it into a value. What it means is that now we have seen that uh, the data can be very important. For example, the market data or the trade information that we're getting in, in finance world. We need to, we can analyze that, but what is, we can do a lot of analysis on that uh, market data using machine learning techniques or data and analytics uh, techniques that we will discuss uh, in this particular series. So if we, that data is very, very important. Um, and it, we can actually use uh, that data to do something very, very useful, like uh, do some uh, ad, uh, some analysis on the on the on the stock uh, on the stock valuation or the options valuation and all. So the value of data by using this big data analysis is very, very important. Now the last part is the veracity. Veracity, veracity is uh, uncertainty of data. This refers to the discrepancies found in the data. All the data that we get in big data is not good sometimes. When we are training a machine learning algorithm, that times if we whatever if the training set of data is not good, then the machine learning algorithm will not give the good uh, output or the good predictions. So, and also like just for an estimate that poor data quality cost the US economy around 3.1 trillion dollars a year. That's a huge amount. And one in three business leaders don't trust the information they use to make decisions. So this was all about the five V's of big data. And I believe that by understanding all these concepts like volume, velocity, verity, value, and variety, we've got a fair understanding of what big data is and what are the things that we can uh, do to analyze the such a big data and convert it into a proper value. This is what we are going to do in this tutorial series. So in the next video, we'll cover what is local versus local systems and distributed systems. So see you all in the next video.